mind pretending that you're taking me to the movies? Well, I'm not. We just happen to be standing in the same line. <laughs> I'm pretending that you called me up and said, how would you like to go to the movies? And I said, that would be very nice. Thank you very much for asking me. <laughs> and then I'm pretending that you came by to pick me up and we walked down here together. Well, you can stop pretending because it's never going to happen. Look at him, the perfect man, the greatest motion picture partner that I know. His heart is kind, his taste refined. When I look at him, two words just come to mind. <laughs> Material. That's what I need. Someone who can be mature. Someone who can read. Husband material walking down the aisle. Someone who can grow accustomed to keeping me in style. Should he throw a ball? Should he ride a horse? Should he row a rowboat? He should do it all summer, winter, fall. Marathoning, Amazoning, on and on. Far and wide, as long as I'm the bride. Husband material, he ought to be happy and cheery all from A to Z. And then that man can maybe marry. Husbands throughout history have learned the golden rule. Slay the dragon, drag it home and let their woman rule. I should find a husband who can reach that simple goal. Let me be forever in control. Husband material, is he in reach? Someone who can cook an egg. Someone you can teach. Husband material, around the bend. Someone who can be accepting of what I need to spend. Should he write a play, join the AMA? Should he be a scholar? First in everything, he could be a king. Supervising, criticizing, socializing, day and night. And guess who's wearing what? He's in the room, though he's ethereal. He's still 